God, oh God. Boy, boy. Hey there, guys. This is Phone Tech Kid, and right now I'm gonna be showing you a multi-view ROM. Yay! Finally, multi-view for the AT&T Galaxy S3. So this actually works for T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon, and Sprint. You do use a ROM installer, and after a lot of, took a little while to get this ROM perfectly working. And so, it, but it's a great ROM. So you can see right now I have it's a five by six launcher, so you get to fit a lot of apps. It does come with a ROM installer, so you will have the choice. The settings look very clean and nice. And actually, I don't know if this is four point one point one or four point. Yep, four point one point one. Um. Then if we go down here to tweaks, you get a bunch of mods and user interface stuff you could do. I'm not gonna focus on that because I'm limited on time right now. As you can see it's kind of themed. If I open up the phone and go to dialer, or the dialer it has this nice kind of UI to it. Same with the text. I'm not gonna show you that. Um, the camera actually also looks very nice. We open that up. Oops. Looks pretty much the same. Uh, I don't know if you get Note 2 Gallery. I guess you do. So you get the Note 2 Gallery. Now what you've all been waiting for, Multi-View. So first of all, let's open up XDA Developers. Great app. I think I've made a review on it before. Hold the menu button. And there it goes. It pops up. So if we scroll through here, let's say I want to have the other half be, let's see what we should make it be. Let's make the other half be, my email. So, you hold on it, and you drag it, and there you go. You have email right here. Then you have your XCA right here. I don't know if that's something wrong with it, but it kind of turns into a bluish. There's nothing you could do about that right now. As you can see, I'm using XCA and email at the same time. If I want to make one bigger or smaller, you hold. You drag like that. Now XCA is bigger, and this app is smaller. We can make it this. And so just it works. Multi view is working. Everything is working. Uh, some of the stuff that wasn't working before that you might have to fix. One of them is before you flash this ROM, people have said that you flash another TouchWiz ROM. And after you flash that TouchWiz ROM, you don't boot it up. You wipe Data Factory Reset, wipe Cache, and wipe Dalvik Cache. Do not format system. And then just install this ROM. So, I, I mean, okay. Touch was ROM, install it, then do a, wipe data factory reset, wipe cache parse, and wipe Dalvik cache. And that's it. Okay? And you install the ROM, and you boot it up. And so, another thing is, sometimes the messaging will not work. It will say message not sent. What you do is you go into phone, you call any number and then after that it should work that's what happened to me and text messaging was working actually data should work it worked in the beginning for me and let's just test it out quickly go into YouTube data is working as you can see everything's loading up and everything works fine so go try this ROM out I'll have the link below for all four carriers uh, and just hit up the developer of the ROM. He'll be in the thread. Because this really is a great ROM. I hope you enjoyed this video. God, oh God. Boy, boy.